Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the partial derivatives of this function. So the partial derivative with respect to x and the partial derivative with respect to y. We're going to use something called the quotient rule. So before we do this, let me briefly refresh your memory on the quotient rule. So if you have two functions, f and g, and you divide them, and you take the derivative, Think of f as your top function and g as your bottom function. So it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. That's all over the bottom one squared. So this is called the quotient rule and we're going to use this to find the partials. Okay, let's find each one. So let's do del f del x. So this is the partial derivative of our function with respect to x. So whenever you're finding this, you treat all of the other variables as constants. So all of our y's are constants. So this is our top function, and we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So the y is a constant. So the derivative of x is 1, so we're just left with y. So that's the derivative of the first times or the bottom or the second. So the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top, x, y, times the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of y is 0 because it's a constant. All over the bottom one and the whole thing, x plus y, is squared. Let me go over it again. It's the derivative of the top and we're differentiating with respect to x, so the y is a constant. The derivative of x is 1, so we just get y times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. It's with respect to x, so the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of y is 0, all over the bottom 1 squared. Good stuff. Let's distribute this y. y times x will give us yx plus and then y times y will give us y squared. And then minus xy. That's all over the bottom one squared, x plus y, and it's being squared. This is equal to y squared over x plus y, and it's being squared. And that would be the final answer. Now let's do the partial derivative with respect to y. So del f del y. So when we do this, all of the x's are constant. So again, we're taking the derivative with respect to y, and all of the x's are constant. Okay, so taking the derivative of the top, the derivative of y is 1, we're left with the x. It's the derivative of the top times the bottom, x plus y, minus the top, xy times the derivative of the bottom with respect to y. So the derivative of x is 0 and the derivative of y is 1. All over the bottom one, x plus y, and then this is squared. Let's just go over that again. This is a little bit delicate. So it's the derivative of the top. So the derivative of y is 1, so we're left with x times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 1 over the bottom one squared. So this will be x squared, distributing the x, x times x, then plus xy, and then minus xy, all over parentheses x plus y squared. These cancel, so we just get x squared over x plus y quantity squared. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone out there in the world who is trying to learn some calculus. Good luck.